Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where I've been waiting for the map to load in and this guy is over here like, hi, I still have things to say and then he's like, hi, you're making me feel really needy and I'm like actually going to lose it and I think I need to talk to him just because I'm a completionist in some ways but I'm, I'm not going to enjoy it. I might have a stereo and bite him. Put him up. Sidle away from him slowly. Wait! I wasn't really gonna fight you. I was just trying something out. Why? My name's Narber. Adventurer to be. Soon to be the best adventurer anyone's ever this seen. This man. As soon as I figure out what kind of adventure I want to be. What do you think? Can I be a fighter? I think he's a doppelganger. I should have clicked on him. Um. I can talk him. Um. Maybe pick a different career. Whew. I was hoping you'd say that. To tell you the truth, I don't actually like hurting people very much. Or, or getting hurt. It's a good job I ran into you. I... What? He says he's a human. What? I don't trust that man at all. Holy moly. Deep on the Gondians and Gortash inventing them. Gar why can't I go? Okay, okay. <gasps> you can just go through the curtains! Oh, she has frescoes! I do like the frescoes. It's cost my own for the Elchu Fixie. Okay, sorry. I have to... Oh, I can't steal a black and furnace red would probably be nice. I'll give it a shot. Oh, she's got a nice setup. Anyway, I wish I could. I know I kept this letter on purpose so that I could Figaro. Yeah, fashion makers, fashion lower. And she's in the upper city. So yeah, why would you get rid of this one and go to the lower city one, you know? Baldur's Mouth Gazette, no, okay. So the Vanthaper Villa and the Hewn House, I think are where we're up in the upper city. So we should be able to find those people named after the houses they're in. Are we? No. You know what I'm thinking, actually? This is just the entryway and this is the lower city, and this up here is going to be the upper city. I think we haven't even encountered it yet. Okay, because that would make more sense. They don't necessarily well. They don't necessarily have brothels and flop houses in the upper city. I don't know why. I'm sure somebody was like shaking like their screen and being like, "You idiot!" And I'm like, "Listen, I have the attention span of a bean." And I am intelligent, but sometimes when you're playing a video game and trying to talk and do a bunch of things at once, it just, you know, I'm trying to process all these conversations, things just come out. You are not wearing armor. Armor? To meet my mother and father. You have got to check out Dan Thelon's dancing acts. Did I not? Their leather work is amazing. Did I not go in and, like, check their actual inventory? Oh, I did look at this, but they don't really have anything, like, super special. Yeah, okay. Short father. You as well, my guy. Thank you so much. Oak father, bless you, and all that. Um, there's a black hole in my... Oh, it's that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Which I can't get into. <laughs> but I have a Sterian. Well, yeah, hello to you too. The yeah, Sterian sucks at jumping. Maybe I can. Maybe he can jump from like here to that. Oh, is that technically a chasm? Hang on, where is. Okay. Maybe from up here? Another step forward. Oh yes, oh yes, I could do it from here. Just me. Well, sans you two. Me and Carla I could do. Path is interrupted. I mean, oh my gosh, could I? 
Oh. Oh. This is actually wild. Look at this jump. I guess I could fly. 29 HP is a bit much. Hmm. I could take the potion of glorious vaulting. But Halson can transform and fly. It just kind of feels a little bit like a waste. Oops, no. Ooh. The cave bear cannot fly. I do have a couple of those. Wee! Look how cool I am. Oh man, I should have. I definitely should have had a steering do this. Oh, a vampire flying definitely fits. Ah, uh, but I'll be here for backup if he needs it. With pleasure. Oh boy, we should be good. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's definitely the man for the job. Let's hope nobody's in there. So far, we've been lucky in that nobody's been in the rooms that we break into. Oh, oh, the basement. That's right. The basement was apparently closed. All right, this is gonna be a fun bonding mission. Can't give up now. For uh, us two, apparently. Very well. Come on, Esther. We're leaving these two out as guards. And they get to deal with their, like, potentially awkward... I mean, Halston wouldn't be awkward, but maybe Carlac would be a little tiny bit. <laughs> Just being like... I don't know. I I, got, I can see it being a little awkward, but in, like, a funny way, not in a bad way. Okay. Really? Yeah, you can stop crouching. All's well that ends... Not as bad as basements, I need to know things in the basements because that's where sedition lives, is in the basements. I guess maybe I could have tried to jump over here too. He said the basement was off limits, but a bedroll in the basement? Why is there so much basement? A cage? A cage that something broke out of from the circus? As of the circus colors, is this where the missing... Yeah, the missing red caps were here. Guaranteed. Surveillance notes. The city's harpers appear to operate independently, each separate cell feeding into a ranking member who oversees a larger network. It is an effective method distributing their efforts and ensuring that each unit is safeguarded against infiltration of the others, but once already compromised, this structure is their greatest weakness, with no individual harper being able to tell where the contamination began and how far it has spread. And so while they scramble to rebuild themselves, we carry on with the Chosen's work. They are a bit messed up. Um, because, probably because Jahira died. <laughs> okay, so Sedition lives in the basement. Sick. Um, why, what is the point of this? What is the point of that? This is really weird design in your house. Unless I'm just like too zoomed in and I'm like not seeing it correctly. This is like clothes, just like red shirts and blue pants. Why can't I discover anything about the red caps? That's, I guarantee you that's what this is about. I don't think can red I don't think red caps can go invisible. And I should be able to see them even if they try. Oh, I wonder I don't think I think I'd have to fly again. I could maybe actually just make that jump from there. Well, I've spent more time in here than I probably needed to in an effort to see if there's any red caps. <laughs> 
Oh, dude, trying to. Oh, like, trying to. <laughs> oh, this was the this was the alchemist shop that seemed very not. I mean, very very legal, not bad, like truly legitimately. <laughs> Why, when we're jumping, do they start doing like a a flying animation? Didn't think they used to do that. Don't burn yourself. I forgot. I left her up there. All right. Well, so far, nobody's had really cool armor. These guys are absolutists, and maybe I should go talk to them. And they have red caps. Greetings, sir. How may I be of service? Nope, okay. Can't bring it up. No. Who are you? Let's go to Carl's Wait, no. Oh, it is him. Okay, it is the guy. Enthos retired the dancing axe, too. Was the only reason anyone came into this place. Oh, the actual dancing axe? What's over here? Kind of looks like if you wanted to, you could like jump all the way down. Maybe this is how you could get into the... Wait, no, that's... That's back in the Riverton. You wouldn't need to do that fancy. I guess you could do this the way over here. To, maybe? To get in? And with, with bypass some of the steel walls, but you wouldn't bypass all of them. That seems like a lot. To pleasure your fine lady. To, to fill her fingers I, If I took these two into the brothel, like that is. I definitely want to talk to that woman. I think. I don't think there's any other stores here for me to look at. Except there's. Yeah, I know what that. Okay. So how much time do I? Yeah, we should be good. Let's chat. If you are in need of some pleasurable assistance, might I direct you to Charesse's caress? I only deal with referrals. That seems smart. This is safe to take. The librarian does. What? Oh. <laughs> I was like, the librarian? And then I was like, oh. <laughs> She, um, is she the one who who died? I think she is. But we need to go talk to invest the investigator. I shouldn't I shouldn't be involved in anything with Catherine Blossom here. I do want to bring Lizelle when we do that, so she can be privy to all the sordid details. Uh, what's in this door? Hello. Boop beep boop. Don't. I, I feel like this is a weird way to get in here. Is it like through the back door? Oh, hello! I can finally talk to you after all the investigationing I've already done. Another case closed, another bottle open! Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a tick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the Your temple. Your face is not very I movable. Bet she's put you up to something. Listen, I've been doing your job for you. Uh, okay, we'll be respectable first. Afraid so, I found new evidence, investigator. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? Are you, like... <sighs> I know You shouldn't that be look. in this line of you work, then. You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? You seem very bad at your job. Who's Devella? My assistant. She's posted in the Lower City investigating Duke Stelmane's murder. Now, back to it. What have you Why found? would you tell me all that? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's not something an investigator would actually tell you. I guess unless they're drunk. Um, can I tell you all of these things? 
I feel like that's something you don't start with. Well, maybe you start with that and get more specific. Father Lorgan's murder is one of, is just one part of a bigger plot, a ball plot. A ball plot? You as well? Duvella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something. So are you actually used to I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods while up in fear mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. So is this one of those <gasps> things? Fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? Where the 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 like senior is actually just kinda useless and rides on their past glories and the younger one is the one is the only one that's useful. I have proof this document contains information connecting the murders to the ball resurgence. Yes. No need to wave documents at me. Oh my gosh. I'm already drowning in paperwork as You're it is. You're actually... Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. A pain this. in the trunk. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. No. Oh, and you'll need this pass. Oh. It'll give you access to the lower city. Are you actually useful? Well, what are you waiting for? You didn't give for? me anything. You have a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move. I didn't even tell him about most of it. Her? I didn't tell her about most of it. Solve the- I haven't solved- I mean, I kind of have. I kind of have. Is linked to a- linked to a waterfall. On his ash thin debris. Find the- Uh-huh. Mamzelle. Perhaps we should tell Mamzelle. We should. I do feel bad. Okay, she did accept our evidence. Okay. Wait, that was it? Like, I had so many lines of evidence, and, like, all you needed was one? And you didn't even find the actual person who did the killing yet, you know? Are you Mamzelle? No. Are you Mamzelle? No. <laughs> uh, nope, nope. Everybody's just chilling, waiting their turn. Or just, these, these tend to be, like, drinking establishments, too. Like dinner, dinner and a drink establishments. Human citizen. You are not a human citizen. You are definitely a doppelganger. You have a dark void on your face. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yep. Oh, except something's wrong with her, with that. Okay, maybe, maybe it's not just... Mm, something's wrong with everybody in here. They're all lies. Oh, yep, yeah, they're all the wrong person. Okay, maybe I shouldn't distrust. But having these ones specified as human citizen and the other ones not is very weird. Ear spoon. Do I know these people? The two men bark softly to each other. A single name reaches your ears. Nine fingers. This is it's interesting. No. Nine Fingers is the head of the guild, a criminal organization operating inside Baldur's Gate. Is it Maul? Is it Maul running this operation and the reason why Maul had the Nine Fingers interrupting uh, an absolute conspiracy? Yeah, I'm gonna listen in. Hopefully. I just, I just gotta say again, it is funny to bring these two here, being that I'm sleeping with them, I'm bringing them to a brothel, and I'm like, hey, yes. Oh, boy. He would, it actually, it depends, um, it depends. Asterion, I think, is still in his, he's, he's searching for himself, but I do think he would probably enjoy a stay at the brothel. You rats with the guild now. Uh, nine fingers met a match. The new kingpin? All meat and muscle, that one. And wild as a werebear. If he's looking to house nine fingers, my blade's got his back. Sounds messy as the ninth hell. Must be why she called us to help. Is that right? The way I heard it, you, Zent, cut a deal with the new... Hold on. A Zent? You there! 
getting up in our affairs? Hmm. I, you are airing private matters in a brothel. I do want to read your mind. It's an invasion of privacy, but... Woo! Nine fingers won't be happy about Zenovia, and I'm not about to tell her. Hmm. I need to talk to Nine Fingers about Zenovia. Hmm. Better you than me. Now listen, I'll only say this once. Lower City, Basilisk Gate, Guildhall. And that's all you're getting from me. Well, now, Scrum, the chat's officially closed. That was all. That was way more information than I than I think I would need. That was like you just told me. But it would make sense that the guild leader would be in a guild hall, but maybe it's not like an official one. It's a kind of a secrety one. Um, is this the way I was supposed to walk in? Potentially. Oh, Mademoiselle, Mademoiselle. <gasps> Curtains! Oh, wow. The despoiler. <gasps> Drow? Oh my gosh. Oh, and he's a courtesan. Oh, is this like where they hang out? Is she? She's not a courtesan. It doesn't say. Anyway. They're both drow. She's lighter skinned. Courtesan. He says courtesan right there. I was like, yeah, this is just what they wear. <laughs> Have you seen my under things? Oh, there he is. I get to go in and mess that up. Okay, first let's, um... I don't talk to him, so... Oh, kitty cat! Do I have... Uh, yes, okay. Kira the kitty cat. First things first. Come to pay your respects to the real lady of it's the true, house, it's true. I see. What a clever creature you I are. I do try. It's your lucky day. <laughs> I am receiving compliments at this time. Oh, lucky. And you are most welcome to make an offer. She is so beautiful. Um, your eyes are two baleful jewels that strike fear into the heart of the most complacent rats. But only the daintiest crystal wear. Uh, try, uh, your, two, uh, your eyes are two baleful jewels that strike fear into the most complacent of rats. I don't know if she's a ratter, though. No, your paws are fit to overturn only the daintiest crystal wear. They would have fancy stuff here. Sometimes a lady has to make her presence known. Delicately, of, of course. Of course, of course. The unwashed rabble who frequent this establishment have much to learn from your deference. And I must suffer their foibles <laughs> alone. <laughs> Foibles. But they do say a burden shared is a burden half. Are you making biscuits? Because uh, that's what it looked like for a second. Um, do I want to know about who's through those fancy curtains? The drow. Two oh. of the most popular courtesans. A night with them seems to be rather life-changing, if you can afford it. Well, I hope. Of course, they are siblings. But judging from the throngs of clients e they draw, most of the city is as disgusting as it's they disgusting. are. It's <laughs> disgusting. Disgusting. The way she emphasized that. Also, yeah. No, nope, I listen. There's, you know, this is a, this is a. a we don't, we don't kink shame, but we kind of do. We kind of do, and that's a, that's a little weird. That is a little weird for, yep, for siblings to be, even if they aren't necessarily with each other, it, they're, they're in the same vicinity, and I think that is, uh, I don't like that. <laughs> I hope they're here, here, like, willingly. I doubt they're not, because uh, that's, a, that's a weird way to say that. I bet you they are. Um, this seems like a decent establishment that takes care of their people. Uh, what's that shady pair over there whispering about? Can't you hear from here? They're talking about I did. them. As for them personally, 
One never washes and instead douses himself with rose oil, <laughs> while the other can't hold his drink. So I could have just maybe gotten him drunk. What are your thoughts on the clientele's whole? That's rather a broad topic. We uh, get all sorts here. He's over there. But there is one frequent visitor whose very presence offends. <gasps> he's the guy he got banned. He dresses fabulously, but Stinks of the hells. <gasps> Something infernal to be sure. Actually the hells. Abhorrent. Like actually the hells. I thought she was just uh making um like he stinks to the nine hells or whatever, but no, actually smells like a demon. Uh, I wonder if it's Arthur or Arthur or whatever. And he wrote that note where he got banned for being weird to the twins. I guess that they're twins, right? I remember now and he's like hovering in there. Okay, so we've paid our respects to the kitty cat. Can I talk to you guys? What? Who's Hooligan? That's a good name. She could beat. Look at those You're arms. You're looking sweetheart. Ah! Another tankard. Oh, Stalin. Another sip and I'm like to spill He's over. very red. But other anchoring for spicier flavors. How about you give me a taste? They try so hard. Uh, she knows what she's about. What'd you say, doll? Have a sit on my lap. Let's see what pops wow. up. Wow. Darling, how you set me a quiver. <laughs> you are a beast among... This is her job. No, a dragon setting my phoenix nest aflame. Wow. <sighs> I shall slake your first dragon. You will part <gasps> your lips and drink of my essence. Wow. Oh, I will drink your essence. <laughs> Hoots, order up. Another tankard for the fist. So she is making so much money off this guy. Yeah, I'm not going to bother her doing it. She, she's plying her trade. And with that, we'll go ahead and call it there. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my quinter patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Kalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel, and who I truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.